Off the Field, brought to you by Topps Friendly Markets, your official supermarket for game day parties. Topps, your neighborhood store with more. Five years and 30,000 Legos or more later, Bob Hall, a season ticket holder from Oakville, Ontario, built a Lego replica of Ralph Wilson Stadium. This is amazing. Let's see what it's all about. Why not build the stadium so that every time I come down in the basement, I feel like I'm at that wonderful place? And why not is right. Bob Hall has been a season ticket and club seat holder since the 70s. On Bob Hall's pool table lies a large 20-foot, 3-foot deep Lego replica of Ralph Wilson Stadium. I am incredibly passionate about the Bills. Um, and I took the same approach with the stadium. I wanted to, you know, at some point I think I wanted to show that a Bills fan can do this and nobody other team can do it. Unfortunately, there are no how-to directions on how to build a Lego replica of Ralph Wilson Stadium, but that didn't stop this motivated Bills fan. I used to walk around for an hour before the game and take pictures of the section I was working on, and that provided me the detail. And detailed it is. The Lego model includes everything from the Wall of Fame, sponsor sections, and even a truly digital mobile phone scoreboard. Even though everything looks finished now, getting to the end result wasn't easy, as right at the end of the building process, Bob encountered his worst Lego nightmare. I was putting some field decals on that far end of the stadium, standing over that corner on a stool, and it just collapsed under my weight. And I fell right into that corner, smashed it, and the sound of Lego smashing on the floor is a sound I never want to hear again. The enthusiastic designer never gave up, and days later the stadium was up and running. Hall now has a piece of Bill's history that will live on and stay with him forever. And it's going to stay. It's not going anywhere, and this story will live on. And it's an inspiration, I think, to Bill's fans and the fact that we just never give up. And we don't.